In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a take profit and a stop loss in your bot. The take profit help you to preserve the profits you have made. If you make like $50, you want to get out of the market, it can automatically stop for you. And if you want to, to, to cut down your losses, the stop loss help you to do that. And uh, you can add the take profit and the stop loss in any boat. Remember, right now we are using the leave boat. We are using the leave boat because the other platform was cancelled. The other platform was uh, like the binary boat back in August was removed. So the first thing to create our law boat, load your law boat which you want to add the take profit and the stop loss. Or you can just create a new law boat like this one. And our main focus will be on this block, reset trading condition after the first trade if it has seen the take profit or stop loss those kind of stuff so the first very thing you need to do is go to the variable and create the two variables for the take profit and the stop loss so i'll create take take profit take profit Then uh, another variable, stop loss. Stop loss. So, uh, with those two, the second step is you come to this block, learn once at start and set the, the that is where the, as a trader, you shall be inputting the take profit and the stop loss. So you can put, the take profit and also set here the stop loss so here it's where you can set the take profit and the stop loss and remember by the way with the leave you can always duplicate one 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 for another and if you are you you're using it so sometimes i'll be duplicating the blocks so set take profit to a number so we go to maths and put the number maybe you want to set the take profit to to the number you want like to ten dollars so you put a number there again to math put a number here again you could have duplicated that so set take profit maybe here you can say take profit to five set take profit here to 15. but even if we run this robot right now it will not uh, do anything because these are just the inputs these are just the inputs we have not co uh, programmed it to actually actualize these things and that is why i said we're gonna focus on this block we start trading after conditions so and the first thing we shall do is create a condition and to create a condition is you use the logic logics and say if and uh, this is how we're gonna reason if they take profit is if the profit made the profit made is less than the profit you are intending then the boat can continue learning and let, let's do that if using the logic if the take profit made i go to the if the take profit made uh and i'll go to the digit analysis or uh, i mean the stats and find the take the profit made the total profit or loss made is less than is less than the take profit we set this one we can go to get this you go to the variables variable variables and then we change here it's less than the take profit the take profit it's less than the take profit then we can trade we can trade again so this one help uh, help us to to say if the profit that the boat has made is less than what we intend as our take profit the boat can continue trading trade again but this one we have just listened for the take profit what about the stop loss stop loss we shall use the same same block so i can duplicate remember i used to show that and then combine it like that 
remove one trading again and uh, here we go so the total profit or loss is less than is less than now remember stop loss is to the negative side and to counter that negative sign because losses is negative i can use a, a function here or a logic to say uh, this one will just help me to set the loss into negative and say math so i'll put a negative one remember when you multiply anything by negative one it becomes a negative i'm just showing you a, a, a very simple way of creating the robot for the take profit and the stop loss so I'll, I'll, I'll instead i'll use another logic for multiplication not that one for equal to so i give I, that one is on the maths maths i'll go to the maths so let's delete this one maths uh, and then here we have negative one negative one one multiplied by our stop loss remember this one is condition for stop loss so we shall take this stop loss and put it here so and then we add it like that so this one now means if the stock the total profit or made is for example negative five dollars is greater than negative five dollars is greater than our stop loss which is negative 20. So that is why we have a greater sign there and you can just follow the steps closely, uh, slowly and you understand everything so this condition will help the boat to continue trading if it has not hit the take profit or stop loss so if it has not hit the take profit is the, the first line the second line is if it has not hit the stop loss so if it hits the take profit then we put an else sign here i add add else if it has hit the take profit that is it is greater than it is greater than it's greater than then greater than it has hit the take profit uh, we can just say just tell us uh, it has hit the take profit and how much profit so we shall it set the text and we set a uh, text we can just create that text and uh, add another text here and see let us tell us that is the tp i'll use a, a synonym this is just a text so it will tell us the tp uh, it is equals to then we can uh, put this block i'm duplicating it remember where you can find it I showed you where you can find that block tp is equals to that it will tell us the take profit it made else now when you are using the stop loss we click this add button to mean else meaning that it has hit the stop loss it should also notify us so i'll duplicate this again remember how i did the first one and this one will be our text too so i'll create a variable they must not be the same so that the robot doesn't get confused so create another text create another variable here text to create, set our text to to now it's stop loss so we can say so we can say sl set our text to so here yeah, our text to set set our text to to stop loss uh, stop loss is equals to total profit and loss just like that and just by that we have created our take profit and stop loss and uh, we can now trade and our take profit is five and stop loss and we can just run this robot and see whether it's working so run and so that we can see where we can check here on the channel so we can see it lost one dollar uh, another one dollar 
remember it's it's i have not analyzed the market and i'm just showing you that the take profit works so our total loss right now is three dollars if it hits the stop loss which was our stop loss our stop loss we set it to 15. if it hits a stop loss of 15 it should tell us or if it hits the take profit of five if it makes a profit of five or a stop loss we shall see whether the boat will stop I think it's it's about to make the robot learn. It was about to hit the take profit. If that one wins. We, it will have hit the take profit uh, 3 4.2 please win so that we can hit the take profit and see the robot is running and there it is it stops and if you come to the journal you'll see uh, yeah after the last win it stops summary if you see the robot have stopped itself because it can't trade again after hitting the stop loss so and to test uh, whether the stop loss works i will recommend we change here the stick change the stick here to five and use the matches deepest market to test the stop loss you know the matches keep losing so we can put a five there and run the robot if it goes a loss of a uh, negative 15 it will stop so negative four dollars it's not stopping negative nine dollars it's not stopping a uh, positive 29 oh my goodness it has it just got a, a, a positive trade and now it stopped again because it has made profit let's uh, reset this and uh, and run again to see whether the stop loss is working i hope this time loud it loses before oh another win i think this boat is working well on, on matches uh, 95 i hope this time it loses thrice 10 negative 10 so negative 15 it should not learn again and there exactly and um, that makes our video and um i said at the end of the video i'll show you how you can add uh, if you have an existing robot like this or this one i was creating for somebody here you just add this part you add it uh, at the very end do you see but remember to check whether there is no trade again condition for example uh, yeah just do that i'll explain uh, if you if you need any robot to be added take profit and stop loss just comment in this video below i'll help you with that and uh in the next video you can also comment whatever you'd like me to check generally and that is how you add take profit and stop loss thank you for watching